So I don't know about you, but I just long for the days where you can wake up in the morning and not see crap headlines like this, folks. Take a look at this. So Molly Jongfast posted this. On the one side, there's a map of someone showing a map of hurricane-affected areas with an overlay of electoral map by political party that shows how hurricane devastation could affect the election. They're showing how it went through predominantly Republican areas, with the exception of probably Atlanta, I guess, when you're looking at this map. And then you've got Marjorie Taylor Greene on the other side saying, it's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. Yes, they can control the weather. So where are we trending here, you know, folks, in terms of a nation, in terms of sanity? I mean, something like this 10 years ago would have been practically impossible for someone to tweet. I mean, how can you say that Democrats now control the weather and directed that hurricane into predominantly Republican areas? It it just makes you wonder, where where is this going to end? I mean, this is this the trajectory that this nation is on? Trending higher towards insanity on a daily basis? And folks, then you've got stuff like this. Ron Filipkowski posted, the right-wing Christian nationalist Oklahoma schools chief has devised a scheme to not only force Bible study into public schools, but also to try and purchase 55,000 overpriced Trump Bibles with public education dollars. So where else can you have the, the leader of Oklahoma's public schools tweak the rules so that the only Bibles that qualify, that he insists go into a, a public school, by the way, the only Bibles that you can buy are ones that have everything that Donald Trump's Bible has. Which a lot of religious folks have looked at and said, you know what, this is, this is not right. This is not right to do to the Bible. I mean, where else can you live where stuff like this is happening? Ten years ago. It's that trajectory of insanity. Would that have been possible? No. Tweaking the rules so that Trump is enriched by the public school board in Oklahoma buying his Bibles. And the insanity just continues, folks. And then I want to post this. I, I don't know what um, Roseanne Barr is up to, but she said this, folks. Have a listen to this. Trump? Hear me when I say this. Trump is, in my opinion, the first woman president of the United States. Okay. I don't even know where to begin with this. I mean, the trajectory of insanity, folks. And this is put out there. She's got, um, this has got 281,000 views. Uh, clearly insane, clearly idiotic. I mean, what, what is, where's this going to end up? Where's this going to end up? And not only that, folks, you've got, um, this tweet that I want to just kind of focus on again, Molly Jong fast, put this out and they're talking about the Haitian American situation, you know, in Springfield, the Haitian American community has since been reeling from the effects of this baseless rhetoric, you know, all that whole stuff about the Haitians eating pets and all that kind of stuff. Well, there's a psychologist who's weighed into this, and he says, Dr. Dr. Nicholas tells Teen Vogue that if she had to guess, she's probably got more than 20 phone calls from parents and young students in the weeks since the presidential debate, all in Miami, Dade County alone. I'm talking about first graders whose friends want to know if they eat cats at home, she elaborates. How do you work with parents to better equip their kids to respond to their friends in school asking them such a question? It's been really difficult for young people, Dr. Nicholas explains further, because the whole point of this is it's supposed to keep you where you are. You're not able to move forward. 
You're not able to progress and grow and develop because you're stuck trying to respond to stupid questions. And folks, the point of this dialogue here that I've got this morning is that you're stuck trying to respond to stupid questions. So when you're talking about Trump and the Trump Bibles and the Oklahoma school district, you know, what you're really doing out there is they are polluting the dialogue of political discourse so that we're talking about crap like that. And when you see Trump do something like this, and he posted this this morning, he's trying to make the point that FEMA is only given $750 to every person that's been affected. Whereas in Ukraine, we've given them $175 billion. But the point is, they, they tried to do this, by the way, with the Maui wildfires. Back when the, the wildfires were going through Maui, they tried to do the same thing. The payment was $700, and they tried to use that in the same way. So here they are. They're just now pulling it back out of their back pocket, and they're trying to use it again. And we all know that FEMA is doing more than giving people $750. I mean, that that is not the end of the support that they're getting. But again, they're trying to pollute the dialogue with nonsensical crap like this because When you're talking about stuff like this, then you're not talking about Donald Trump's concepts for healthcare. You know, when you're talking about the Haitians, then you're not talking about how Donald Trump wants to kill NATO, which is the largest military alliance and power that we have in the world. And when you're talking about stuff like this with FEMA only giving people $750, which is baseless, wrong, it's a lie then you're not talking about what Donald Trump wants to do with tax cuts and give the rich even more tax cuts with the promise to all of his MAGA followers and underlings that it will soon trickle down to you. Don't worry. You don't have to worry. My tax cuts for the rich will trickle down and they will ultimately enrich you, which we know is BS. So that's that's the point of this insanity, folks. That's really it. So when you hear all of this this BS coming from people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, it really is just BS. The method to their madness is to distract you, folks. Distract you from what matters. Don't be distracted. Till next time.